This is BBC One, now a party election broadcast by the Labour Party. Business is more powerful than government. It is quicker, it is more creative. Business is the lifeblood of the country. From this come all the benefits that society needs. Employment, investment, revenue for social programmes. I think, frankly, there is only one party that can represent Britain best, getting business right, and that's New Labour. In 1976, there was just me. 21 years later, we have over 1,500 shops in 47 countries. One of the great myths of the last 18 years is that the Tories were entrepreneurs. You know, entrepreneurial is taking a situation that you have now and changing it. Now, that isn't the thinking of the Conservatives. Mr. Major is a man surrounded by incompetence. Their lack of strength, their lack of vision is, is palpable. I didn't vote Labour last time. Now they seem to be listening to the entrepreneurs. And I think it'll be a very exciting time for British business. Whenever I've spoken to Tony Blair, what comes through is conviction, a sense of what Labour will give. I like the way he looks exhausted. I like the way he's working. And finally, a politician that is not arrogant. Labour is definitely a party that business can do business with. I've been in business and I've worked as advisor to the government of the Bank of England. I think the governments get tired, and it shows, and it has showed terribly the last two or three years. Why shouldn't it be perfectly natural for a businessman, having looked at what the parties intend to do, decide to vote Labour? Gordon Brown is going to be an Iron Chancellor. He will finally put to bed the idea that the Labour Party has to be a party of high spending and high taxation. What they want and what they'll strive mightily to achieve is steadiness in terms of inflation. Because only then will there be the confidence that is necessary for long-term investment, which this country is crying out for. Habitat uh, started uh, in London in the early 60s, and I tried to um, bring things that were well-designed to the mass market and it got rave reviews and gradually we uh, expanded and it became the catalyst for uh, building something called Storehouse, which the turnover was about one and a half billion pounds a year. John Major is not strong enough to run a cabinet and keep that cabinet together. And I do think that Tony Blair will be strong enough I am impressed by his dynamism. I'm impressed by his understanding of the importance of business uh, to the economy of this country and to the quality of life in this country. I'm a chairman of Granada Group, uh, and I've been chairman for the last six months. Prior to that, I was chief executive for five years. Well, Granada's in a, in a number of businesses. So we have Granada TV rental, obviously Granada television. We have uh, catering and hotel interests, Granada motorway operations, as well as Little Chefs, Happy Eaters. We employ just under 80,000 people. I think what I bring to organization is clarity. I set out very clearly what I hope the organization can achieve and then lay out plans in order to achieve it. Well, those skills are exactly the same skills you need in running anything, whether it's the country, whether it's a business, whether it's a party. If you look at what Tony Blair has actually done in terms of creating new labor, it's a phenomenal change. And I have no doubt at all that in having set out very clear objectives for Labour in government, that Tony Blair will also deliver that. And that's about leadership. That quality of leadership comes through again and again and again. Genuinely, one of the most refreshing things about this uh, election, I believe, is that the Labour Party are not saying that everything was wrong. I have always voted Conservative. I've been a Conservative voter ever since I was uh, allowed to vote. I have changed my mind, uh, and I'm going to vote Labour on this occasion. Uh, for the very simple reason that I believe it's, it's the right choice for Britain. If you want to help Labour, please call us on 0990 300 900 or write to us at Free Post Labour Party. That was a party election broadcast by the Labour Party and it'll be shown again with subtitles on BBC Two tonight at 10.30.